Can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, great. So I am Harshweta, and as and as you can clearly figure out from my accent, I am very local. <laughs> so when I was very small, maybe this much. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Please stay. <laughs> no, that won't. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So when I was very small, maybe this much or no, maybe this much. So I wanted to become an Astronaut. Thank you. I wanted to become an astronaut, and I wanted to study the germs that are outside our planet. I was super intelligent right from the beginning. <laughs> but then I realized, maybe at this stage, that physics is not so much my cup of tea. And in the meantime, I developed an interest for our blue planet. And I wanted to investigate the germs of the sea. And I was interested in the plants of our sea. And I became a marine chemical ecologist. By the way, I'm not a 100% ecologist, but I'm at BS. <laughs> so I'm a hybrid between a chemist and an ecologist. So as I said that I became interested in the plants of the sea, I started investigating them and how the germs and the plants interact. By the way, I have got another tag I have a made in Germany tag. <laughs> so I'm a marine chemical ecologist made in Germany because I was trained in Germany for six and a half years until just recently my German supervisor kind of parceled me to his friend at University of Essex because I was really bothering him with lots and lots of questions. I always have a lot of questions. And he used to run out of time answering my questions. So now you guys have paid a ticket for this event. There is no way you are going to run away. <laughs> so I'm going to torture you with four questions. But they are very simple ones. My first question, who among you remembers this nursery rhyme? I'm going to <clears throat> use my X factor voice for this. <laughs> Pay attention. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? It's usually better than this. I just didn't do much practice today. So give me a cheers if you remember this nursery rhyme. Yay! Great. How many of you like gardening? Give me a cheers. Yay! Cool. And how many of you like sushi? Yay! Fine. And my last question, how many of you regularly take probiotic yogurts? Mm, you should, it's good for your health. So at least for the sake of your likings, for your sushi and gardening, and even if you don't like probiotic yogurt, just pay attention to the story of Mary and for those of you who didn't do cheers to any of these questions, <coughs> do whatever you want to do, just don't sleep. <laughs> so, <clears throat> regarding this uh, gardening and how Mary used to garden, 
I need help from three volunteers from the audience. I promise there's nothing uh, embarrassing. <laughs> so if you don't come, I would actually drag you to the stage and just pick volunteer some of you. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> You thought I gave you candies. <laughs> Sorry, I cheated you guys. That's actually bacteria in disguise. <laughs> but nothing scary, because the two ones that you selected are good bacteria. They will help you to have a healthy lifestyle. And the one that you rejected is a bad bacteria. So now if you turn your sheets and show the audience what you have, so you are actually a green seaweed, you are a brown seaweed, and you are a red seaweed. And what you did exactly is done by a seaweed also. I suppose all of you know what seaweeds are, although technically right, they are the plants of the sea. But how do seaweeds do that? They don't have hands like us, instead they are smart. They use chemicals. So they use a certain sort of chemicals. Let's say they are the love chemicals, which says the bacteria come to me. And they use the hate chemicals to repel certain bacteria that are bad for them. Now I'm going to say something very serious. The right bacterial recruitment helps the seaweed to maintain a healthy community, thereby, func thereby functioning of marine ecosystems supporting sustainable fisheries. <laughs> Very nerdy. So, in simple terms, with the right bacterial recruitment, the seaweed can help a to have a healthy community and thereby support other organisms, some creatures that take advantage of its bushes, and one organism that it supports, that's very important for the British people, fish and chips. <laughs> of course, not the chips, 
but it's the nursery for juveniles of fishes. Now I have something very daring to ask you. Who of you can take this chili and eat it? <laughs> person. I'm not going to force you, but let's imagine I have forced you. <laughs> so what would happen to you? I would turn very red. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, you would probably get an acidity, a bad stomach, and something which I may not say so much in public. <laughs> something related to your restroom activities. <laughs> You got it right. So this happens to a seaweed also. With global change, increase in temperature, even the neutral bacteria can become very bad and attack the seaweed. And with changing conditions, the seaweed can lose its defense armor and become weak. And it can happen that an entire population of seaweed gets wiped away. So my take home message would be when you do gardening, do the right gardening as seaweed and as Mary's do. Thank you very much. Give it up for Martin Schwetzel, everyone. Brilliant. And obviously the, the, the girls, the volunteers. Um, wonderful, wonderful. And, and normally when you see an entertainer enticing girls with sweets, uh, you three are involved, but not this time, ladies and gentlemen. That was all above board, so it was fantastic. Um, we've got time for some questions. Has anyone got any questions about the routine? Any questions? Anyone in the, the room got any questions? If this was an auction, it'd be going cheap, wouldn't it? Um, I've got a question. Do you have a favorite seaweed? And if so, why? Yes, I have my PhD seaweed as my favorite seaweed. I worked with it for three years. So yeah, that's the brown alga fucus vesiculosus and it's very widespread. Any fans in? Some fans in? <laughs> Some people in the audience go, well, finally someone said that, finally. I've been coming to, come to these shows for years. And... Is there any seaweeds that you don't like? Mm, no, not really, I love them. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take you to Formby Beach and show you some of the seaweeds there, because I'm not sure some of them are seaweeds, but... Uh... Do we have any more questions? Any more questions? Is that a hand up? No? Do you like eating seaweed? Yes, oh. of course. I at least once a month go to a Japanese restaurant and eat sushi. Brilliant, brilliant. And I think that was a, a, a very uh, strange way to ask for a date. So, but uh, <laughs> good on you for getting stuck in. So, Maha Schwetzer, ladies and gentlemen, brilliant stuff, brilliant starts. Round of applause.